finally i got my hands on the new edge browser based on chromium so this was leaked so it's the second build that has been leaked so i just got my hands on it and um, you know uh, the fact that i got thinking that when i install a new windows copy and i don't have to download google chrome makes me so happy and considering um, windows is installed on 800 million plus devices and uh, when you see the uh, market share of edge browser is like four percent and um, google chrome is like uh, 60 plus percent so if 800 plus device 800 million plus devices install edge browser by default and do not use google chrome you must see how the market share will change in a few months when this will be finally released so this is a leak build so so edge plus chromium edge gm you can call that um, you know many youtubers have been calling um, this new browser like that so for more updates for the a new edge browser subscribe to my channel like share all that stuff so i'll be continuing to uh, make more videos about this new edge browser and the future leaked uh, future versions and microsoft has said that it, it will uh, be included in the future builds and it will be available for the mac linux and other operating systems as well so without any further let's dig in so as you can see i've already downloaded this build and um, the this is the microsoft edge uh, 64 and you can see it's 109 the 107 has been leaked already so uh, let's install this so as you can see the thumbnail itself uh, the display thumbnail is itself very uh, pixelated uh, uh, you can understand uh, the and it, it is based on chromium 75 so it's the chromium 75 release you can see the file version here and as you can see we have installed it and uh, installation is very simple uh, it's not finalized yet so that's why it's very simple you can see the edge uh, uh, shortcut has been placed on the desktop and it's been opened for the first time so as you can see by default it uh, imported my um, the bookmarks from my google chrome and all the other stuff so we can uh, you know it's uh, directly access my uh, microsoft uh, account that's there and uh, Hi Roshan Thomas, let's set up the browser with. So this is the first initial setup. So I can confirm to uh, import the data or I can go from uh, start from scratch. So I can do that. So I'll just confirm and uh, it's try trying to sync and it's saying not syncing. It, that's not working and I have three options here. Info, inspirational, fo informational and focus, three options. So I'll just go with awards default. So I'll go to full screen and you can see we have opened the Microsoft Edge Insider so I can sign up so I'll just sign up okay so I'll just put my name in and uh, my email ID I'll India and I'll just sign in so um, I'll give the thoughts afterwards so that it stay there and as you can see here we have this uh, hamburger menu where you can customize the uh, page layout so focus will give you this thing and you can just scroll upwards to get the Microsoft news and if you go to the inspirational that's what I did as default that also gives you the this one and informational will give you half of the news and half of that page so that's and you can customize uh, that also you can turn on turn off things and you can image of the day you can uh, the image of the day will be from the Bing wallpapers if you like that you can turn that on and you can show the feeds or not so that will be decided based on your choice all my folders and the bookmarks and imported from chrome the mobile uh, everything is available directly here so that's a very good thing and when you go to the three dot menu uh, or the settings menu uh, it's more likely same the icons are different it's like edge mixed with uh, chrome it's like uh, um, google's brother from another mother so that's why if you go to settings it's very nice looking i mean the the thought of uh, having the functionality of google chrome in edge browser is very very heartwarming for me so just i'll just go to about microsoft edge and you can see it's 75.0.109.0 so official build 64 bit uh, so we cannot go for the update because it's showing an error and if i go to profiles you can uh, edit remove sign out the profile 
so you have the passwords payments and all that stuff you can import them in future appearance you can go to the show home button turn that will show up here the home button or you can go to uh, you can enter a URL for the home so that you can do here we have the all the common uh, features here on startup and you can uh, choose to uh, continue where you left off open a specific page send do not track request you can turn that on and site permissions you have more granular controls if it were on edge it was not possible now we have granular controls and in uh, future we'll get the sensor um, you can block the sensors also that's also possible in future downloads you can set the download path and you can go ahead turn this on to ask you every time uh, where to save when you uh, download a file languages well let's see if that works yes it works and there is that i'm printing obviously uh, printer you can manage your printers from here system and this is the um, this feature is directly from uh, microsoft the chromium uh, i continue to run the microsoft Edge in background so i'll turn that off i don't like that and uh, we have hardware acceleration and reset settings so yes you can reset directly from here i don't know all the things that i'm recording and the overlay screen is showing or not in the screen recorder but hopefully you can see that so let me show you the apps and features and if we search for the edge or microsoft edge so you can see uh, the ones uh, installed by default is the microsoft edge and uh, you cannot uninstall it and the uh, microsoft edge we installed the chromium based version you can uninstall that and you can see the chromium version 75 so stay tuned for the future um, builds hopefully i'll get hands on my the future builds and i'll keep you posted and if you like this video please hit the like button share this with your friends who is interested in this kind of things and please let me know in the comments what do you think about the new uh, edge browser based on chromium uh, are you interested uh, will you install chrome in future or you will stick with the edge browser please let me know and uh, subscribe to my channel when you subscribe please hit the bell icon and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye bye